Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video we'll be showing you how to replace a front hub on this uh, four-wheel drive S10 truck. Same as any 97 to present uh, S10 truck or blazer. Tools you'll need are metric sockets, 10 to 19 millimeters, 18 millimeter and 13 millimeter wrenches, jack and jack stands, 35 millimeter socket for the hub nut, large screwdriver or pry bar, some penetrating oil, and a torque wrench to put it back together. Okay, so first, if you're using hand tools, you're going to want to um, loosen your lug nuts up. Okay, and that's going to be with a 19 millimeter wrench. And you want to do this on the ground, obviously, because that way your wheels won't be moving. Okay, and then the other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use your 34 millimeter socket, socket, 35 millimeter actually. Okay. And now I'm going to raise the car up and secure it. Okay, so I've raised the wheel I'm working on up off the ground by putting the jack under there, and then actually I have a jack stand under the frame here. And that's what's going to really hold the weight. So now I'm going to remove the tire. Okay, now I can remove the center hub nut. And the washer. Okay, now I'm going to re remove my brake caliper by removing this bolt here and then down on the back side, this bolt here. Okay, those are 18 millimeter bolts. Okay, now I'm going to use my wrench to just Pry the caliper right off. I'm going to rest it right up here. Take the disc off. So now I'm going to remove the clips for the hub harness here and here. Okay, and then the harness goes right up in here. Okay, and I just disconnected it, and then you can just use a screwdriver to kind of, I can't really, you just want to use a screwdriver to pry it up out of the frame there. Okay, here, so I'm just coating those uh, two little nuts with uh, penetrating oil, and then I'm going to take the small one off, actually, I'm going to finish prying that clip up and out, and now I'm going to take the small one off with the 10 millimeter wrench. Okay, and here, this next shot, I'm actually showing you how to get the wrench up in behind there to hold that um, bolt. So that's where you want to place the wrench in order to hold the bolt on the other side. And now here, I'm just removing that clip bolt. Okay, and here, I'm just finishing up, uh, taking out that bolt. Um, I actually like to kind of put the bolt and the nut back into the control arm just for safekeeping so I know where they are. And then here is the last clip that's on the frame. Um, this is a 13 millimeter bolt and so I'm unbolting it from the frame here. Okay and now just pulling the harness out and free and I'm going to pull the clips off the harness so I can put them onto the new hub harness um, when I'm ready to install it. Now you want to remove your hub. There's three bolts, uh, one on the back, one in the middle on the top, and then one over here in the front. And these are 18 millimeter bolts. Okay, so the um, front and rear ones you can get to with an impact wrench or a regular wrench. 
the top one is a little more difficult. You have to use a hand wrench, and it helps um, if you swivel um, the steering. That helps you get to the bolts that much easier. And then, as you can see, as I'm taking them out, um, you can pry with a um, pry bar or a large screwdriver. Places one right back here. There's a little place that in the flange that you can get a screwdriver into and pry against the steering knuckle. And then also in behind, um, right where the steering knuckle is, uh, here on the front. And you can see me get it apart now. Just kind of shaking it. Um, you want to be careful not to bend up that backing plate too much. Um, but basically I kind of leave that top bolt in. Um, it's very loose, uh, but it's still in there. Okay, and now you can see the hub comes right out. And pull the uh, harness out. And away from the backing plate and your hub's out. Um, And there's this little rubber O-ring that you want to make sure it goes back on correctly. Okay, so here's the new 1A Aha hub um, versus the old one. Let's see, the lead's all the same, has the same bracket, um, same end. You know, it's going to mount the same. And everything's going to be all the same. Okay, and so ends the uh, removing of the hub. Um, reinstalling is pretty easy. It's it's a reverse of the procedure. Now, obviously, you need to use a torque wrench, um, torque the smaller bolts to 65 um, foot-pounds, and the hub nut to 95 foot-pounds, as well as your lug nuts to 75 foot-pounds. Uh, we do have this detailed in another video um, that is a reply to this video. Also, you can just search for S10 hub and find um, the installation video. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.